inside the PLO delegation in Washington, D.C. that President Trump has ordered to be shut down as part of his attacks on Palestinians, uh, their statehood, their rights. Um, today is the last day that it'll be opened and they're going to be lowering the flag today. So we have like a very massive group out here to document it and to protest it. We're going to try something totally different because the timing has been horrible. Flag will come down today. Everybody's doing, doing like the same few weekends, so we're we'll trying to change it up. Come on along. That's okay. Do you want to go to the city? Sorry, would you like to be interviewed? Uh, regarding why we're here? Yeah, why are you here? Sure, why not? Right. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. One more, please. It's mediocrity. Thank you. Oh, you want to Okay. Um, can you tell us why you're here today? Yes, we are here in consolidation for the Palestinians because we believe that this embassy should not be closed. Uh, the administration of Trump did not give us any reason for it to shut down the Palo office. Uh, they're just shutting it down for the heck of it, because they're trying to bully us and put pressure on the Palestinians in order to uh, do whatever the Israelis want, and that is not justice. So we're standing up for justice and for peace. We want peace in the Middle East, and we want to, you know, stay. Our, uh, we want to be able to express ourselves. And shutting down the office is not going to scare us into going to the table. That's not a tactic to take get people to go to the table. If you want people to go to the table, you need to talk and you need to use diplomacy, not shutting down the offices. What does this mean to you that when they're shutting down this? It means that they are uh, disregarding me as an American Arab, a Palestinian Arab. So they're disregarding my wishes and my uh, my heritage, and they have no business doing that. There was no reason for them to do that. Thank you very much. And here we have Graylin Hagler. And um, Graylin, can you tell us what this is about here? So what this is about is basically the, the so-called uh, president's uh, and his administration uh, ordering uh, entities like the Palestine Liberation Organization out of the United States over, over basically a refusal of them to kowtow to the demands of this administration and the Netanyahu government want to impose on Palestinians. And so uh, we're here, I mean, obviously to uh, decry the situation, but also to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people and that the Palestinian people have a right for self-determination and to uh, control their own governance. What's the connection between the issues facing the black community in this country and Palestinians? Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's basically the same thing. You, you, you're, you're deprived of enfranchisement. Uh, it's an old historical issues of Jim Crow that took place in this country that basically relegated the lives of black folks to basically nothing or non-citizenship. Same thing is happening in Palestine, so there's a clear relationship in terms of people um, uh, fighting for self-determination to be heard and to be respected. And I am just uh, very disappointed with uh, what's going on in terms of uh, the, the treatment of the Palestinians and the full support of, uh, of uh, Israel without consideration to the Palestinian uh, self-determination, homeland. And this action, uh, the closing of the mission, uh, uh, the move of the embassy, and uh, uh, the, the expansion of the settlements, and the, the cut of the money for Palestinian children and refugees, uh, and the Palestinian livelihood, 
uh, this is a, will not uh, in any way uh, help the situation for peace. We are we want peace with dignity and justice, and all these actions is just heading for uh, for uh, dissatisfaction, for oppression, for for uh, 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 demonstration, for revolution, and, and uh, for war. And this is here we are protesting. Uh, this administration uh, unthoughtful and uh, I don't know what to say other than crazy actions that are uh, very dangerous and I'm happy to be here. فين فين ميسر؟ ايوه كده صح لا معلش لازم اخذ جابر طيب بن احمد لا 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 كده خليه واقف الاول ايوه كده ايوه عشان يبقى معانا مع الكاميرا احمد جابر طيب جابر طيب